the Weird Girls Club Podcast, with your hosts, Maeve and Amy. Hi, welcome, welcome back. back. Another oh. episode, usually Neve goes, welcome back to another episode. Like, I know, the one time I didn't and you <laughs> stopped, I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, and now you're listening to the Weird Girls Club Podcast, if you didn't know, and this week we have a very special guest, Enya Martin. From Give Us A Laugh. Yeah. Yeah, and she does, if you don't, you've. You've definitely seen her. If you don't, yeah, have you're hundred percent seen her. Oh yeah, hundred percent. It's a lot of hundred percent. Well, if you're wondering why we're in different clothes and we just look different, yeah. is because we this is our second attempt at the intro. We had a technical difficulty with the first intro we're we recorded, redoing. so we had to redo it. But yeah, we hope you enjoy the episode. Don't forget to com- comment, like, and subscribe, and let us know what other guests you want on that we can chit chat to. Yeah, and enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy. But Enya, thanks so much for coming on, taking the time to chat to us two gobshites. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I'm like the real Enya. I very, I very rarely do podcasts. <laughs> so. We wanted, like, we've been doing this since, what year did we start? 2020? 2020, 2020 like or 2021? I don't know. It was in the pandemic. We were always saying, like, oh, we want definitely want to have, like, Enya on because she's fucking yeah. gas. Like, you're so funny. You're so relatable, though, to all Irish people, especially being in Canada like living in Toronto like everyone knows who you are like yeah oh really yeah Yeah. because it's like a little piece at home do you know what I mean because obviously Canadian humor is very different than Irish humor oh totally yeah like ants over here like we all just stick together all the Irish like so uh everyone yeah it's um it's uh, it's it's obviously Canada and Australia like are very popular with the Irish but like I I'm only back from Orlando I am and my other half's his old boss is a he's like a head chef because he's a chef as well in one of the restaurants in Disney Springs. It's actually an Irish restaurant. And he was saying to him, oh, you know, like we'd have a job over here if you know problem and stuff. And after going on holiday, I was like, oh, I'd consider going over there. So like we actually had a conversation about how would Irish humor work over in Florida? You know, like like you said, like Canadians yeah. don't have the same sense of humor. But with the whole online thing, like, I mean, you're talking to me and I'm in Dublin, you're in Canada. Like, I can still make videos. I can still do online. Yeah. You know, it's it's the great thing about the internet now, whereas, like, that had happened, like, 10, 20 years ago. I would have been like, yeah, that would never work, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's usually the sarcasm. They take it very seriously. Oh, like, yeah. Irish are very sarcastic. You say something. Like, I remember being woke up a couple of times and you say something as a joke and they're like, oh, my God, really? And you're like, no, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no it is it is they don't get it at all like, yeah that was mad. even my sister she worked in new york like just for like a summer and she was working in a bar and she'd be like like say not really say food like she'd be like jesus you milk that and he'd be like sorry what <laughs> like what and she was like you weren't half hungry were you and they were like um yeah i was very hungry like they just did not get sarcasm in the slightest yeah. like, such offense to it she was like right lesson learned just <laughs> short <laughs> to me with these people I am not gonna bother but not they're, they're not all like that though like yeah some, some of them do like they can they can take I it. I I'd, like I think New York like I like, de- think you could definitely walk stand up over there um because mm-hmm. you know they, there's obviously a huge Irish population in New York um comedy they're known for the comedy clubs and I actually follow a girl I forgot her name now, but she's she lives in New York and she she always puts up clips of her in one of those comedy clubs that Des Bishop and stuff does. Um, but as long as you just slow down the talking, because we do talk yeah, very yeah. fast. <laughs> yeah, we do. You, you, you're like, you're not going to turn around and be like, so has anyone here ever been to the flats in Ballymun? Like, <laughs> I'm not going to get that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just yeah. don't talk about Ballymun or like, just say in Ireland, we have this yeah. uh, neighborhood, you know, you just have to kind of like, I suppose, adjust it a bit. That's all. That's, that's it. it yeah 100 percent. you could definitely make it work but yeah there's things like that where you'd have to talk a bit slower and some of the sarcasm they wouldn't get both definitely i do yeah. think you could definitely make it work though i mean like, like yeah we're really nudging stuff. you to come over this side of the world <laughs> <laughs> it's something i've always wanted to try though like to live abroad because i used to be such a home board like i'm i i remember like staying in my friend's house i don't know what other issues that happened to us but she'd only live four doors up and I used to ring me man in the middle of the night. I want to come home. <laughs> That's so... Oh, I think so everyone cool. had a friend like that where they go to people and they're like, okay, I'm going home now when it's that time. Was was that was me. Oh, I'd say that. Yeah, that was me. Yeah. Oh, oh God. And it's like... You can't, you can't like leave in the middle of the night because you have a house alarm and you're like, oh, it's awful. <laughs> you're going to have to ring your man and be like, can you like come down and get me? 
Can you read it now and say I want to go? Yeah, you <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you should oh. go over and do a show. Like you definitely have people coming. Like yeah, 100%. the Irish yeah. are over here. Like they do any Irish person that comes over. Like they do support the Irish. Mm. That's the, like yeah. Well, that's what I've noticed. In anyway. Yeah, even them. even when I went to Dubai, there's a huge Irish community over there. I actually went over to McGettigan's. They asked me and a couple of other Irish comedians to go over because obviously they have an, a big Irish population. Yeah. And uh, that was a really cool experience. But the amount of like people who come up to me after, like young Irish girls, you know, my age, your age, and they, they were teachers or they were nurses. And like, it was so weird, like just hearing like Fingless accents and stuff. And like, <laughs> yeah. United yeah. Arab, you know what I mean? United <laughs> Arab, Arab Emirates. But like, yeah, but it's it's... It's weird how like they're just everywhere, you know. They just colonize everywhere the Irish, yeah. and they they all like stick together. That's what they said. Like I had a lot of messages being like, "Oh, I was thinking about going over to Dubai and doing it by myself, and you know, being a teacher or a nurse, etc." And I was like, "You should go." Like, there's such a huge pop- Irish population, like Canada and Australia. Like, I don't think there's actually a fella that I follow online. Um, I used to he used to be in the same gym as me, and he went over to Australia, and it was only going back a couple of months ago, and then I seen like he was back in Dublin, and I was like. Oh, did you come back from Australia? And he was like, Yeah, it just wasn't for me. He said that um he found that he was always on his own over there. The lads that he knew over there weren't meeting up with him and stuff. Like, did you find that when you went over? Like I think I was kind of lucky because I knew people mm-hmm. over when I was coming over, like only like one or two, because I came over with my fella. Like, so they they grew up in the flats together, so they knew each other. But after you kind of get settled, you kind of I don't think you stick as well together because you're kind of settled and you start like meet up and like yeah. I didn't know Amy when I moved yeah. here but yeah we lived like my dad lived in Germany but she lived in Crumlin like what 10 minute walk from Germany yeah. we didn't know each other in Ireland met her through like people we know because I had cousins who knew people here so I'd meet up with them mm. and that's how we met but like like that there is loads of Irish like I mean there's girls over here doing lashes so it's like everyone's going to get their lashes and then yeah, it's like, girl, Irish, Irish girls, people yeah. in, their, in their little yeah. community. like it's it still sometimes feels like home that way because you could be walking down the street and you'll just hear like oh, you'll spot a bottom or, accent yeah. or like someone from Tala or wherever and you're like like hey. the O'Neill tracksuit bottoms are doing that fuck around around yeah. the world you can spot an Irish <laughs> she's in GAA shorts like yeah, 100%. yeah like, no you do get like some people I know have gone home so it's like oh yeah it's not for me like you just can't yeah. see it properly, which is like it's not like, for everyone it's not for sense. everyone but I think the pandemic fucked everyone up as well like when yeah. you are stuck on your own you know that kind of way yeah, like that's what I'm saying. When we were over in Orlando, we stayed with his old boss. We stayed with him for two nights. It was the final two nights that we were there, and they live in the suburbs. And you know, his wife, um, his name is Mark, and his wife's name is Val Malvina. She's from Poland, but she's really, really good English. And like they met over in Ireland, and she was like, "Oh, you know, I was the one who pushed him to try and move to Florida and and give it a go. He was given a job opportunity." And she said during COVID, she was like, I actually did want to go home. She was like, because I knew I hadn't got the option to go home, and she was like, I felt, yeah. you know what I mean. Mm. It's yeah, when you can't, you want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I definitely God. went through that because I was only here like four or five months before COVID. So then it was like, oh, I'm just wasting my money here paying rent. I could go yeah. home and be mad for free. But yeah. like, yeah, no, def- if you like, if you've made it through that, I think you'd like you'd be grand abroad. Mm-hmm. Oh, totally. Yeah, like the fact that you know you just got there and then COVID hit, and that yeah. would give you every reason to just go home and be like, yeah. oh, it's not my time or whatever, you know. Yeah. yeah. No, exactly. Yeah, but. We're here now. We're so yeah. good. <laughs> and anyway, but uh, I'll be on to you again. I'll be bribing you to come over. Watch. Yeah, I'm sure. Do you know what? I'm sure I actually will because I know Ryan Collins. Do you know Ryan Collins? That's, that's the fella I knew saw. coming yeah. over. No way. Yeah, yeah, that's like Aaron grew up in the flats. So I'm like, that's mental. Yeah, because I, 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 I remember watching his videos before I started doing videos, the Morian videos, and I was like, Oh, I'd love to do something like that, but I was still kind of like a bit reluctant uh, to put myself out there. Um, you know, I'll, I'll just stay entertaining my friends and family for the time being. Yeah. But like when I started seeing his videos, and then when I started making videos, he contacted me, and I was a bit starstruck. I was like, oh my god! Like I remember watching your videos. Yeah, it's mental, isn't it? That's and mad. it's like it's it's crazy how it works. Like um, if you put yourself out there, what you can get back. But we ended up doing a little collab. Jesus, like looking back at some of the videos I made, I'd be cancelled if I'd done them today. Like, it's, <laughs> and, do you know what? It's not like I'm a big, it's not like I'm a session mod and I'm out every weekend. And, you know, obviously plenty of people are, but like I'd be in the videos and I'd be pretending that like I'm at a session and stuff. And some of the things I'd be doing, I'd be like, 
I, like I can't believe I put that out there on the internet. Like I, see, I think the videos are still there if you look for them. <laughs> Dude, that's mad. Like that's how much of a small world it is. So like you're telling me about Ryan Collins, and I'm like, oh, that's the fella that I just talked about in that story. Like, like it, everyone knows fucking everyone in Ireland. Yeah. Telling you. And like he, he looks like he's fitting in so well. Like he's in in a hair salon and stuff. And like I, I obviously still follow him on Instagram and, and like he's home. I think quite quite frequently. But like he, he looks like he's he's having a great time over there. And it's he's having a great life. It's it's all it's always a plane ride away, and that's that's what I was told as well by um you know our friends over in Florida. Like it's literally an eight hour flight. Like th- that's the tough yeah. thing about Australia. Like you know if there was ever an emergency, it's long. It's long. It's long. Yeah, yeah. You can stop over as well. So. You kind yeah. of have to. You don't know how long your stopover is going to be as well. Do you know what I mean? I know, and you know what? During COVID as well, like this, they were really, really strict with our people coming in and out. And like, he had friends who live over, who lived over there, and like they didn't come home for about three or four years. It was awful. Like, um, now yeah. that 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 would make me like want to ring me mom, be like, yeah, <laughs> like, 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 yeah, like get me the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's smuggled totally because hands, Do you know what I mean? That's exactly. Yeah. That's it, it's when you're told now, but we'll jump into the hypothetical questions. Oh yeah, we'll just say they're quick. very random, so don't take them seriously. <laughs> yeah. Um so. force one, if you could be a fly on the wall, who would you want to listen in on? Um, I don't know whether this is a good or bad thing, but <laughs> I I, I would, would love to go start to yeah. an answer. I don't know if it's yeah. good. <laughs> like I actually I remember seeing a clip on TikTok there recently of Drew Barrymore. I know the way she has a talk show and she asked Eva Longaria or whatever way you fucking pronounce it, and she yeah. said uh, if you were able to hear all the things people said about you, would you if you were able to know like what they've said about you and like here here's a book or here's a video of what everybody has said about you ever would you want to watch it would you want to read it and she was just like no she was like in my head everybody loves me but because of the work I do I'm always like obviously thinking did I do a good comedy show like were people really that impressed and you just look at me are saying they really had a good time so I would love to be a fly on the wall in the women's toilets after one of my shows oh that's a good answer <laughs> that's a really good answer <laughs> Because they, they meet you in the, like, somewhere, you know, afterwards. Like, I don't really go out, out after my shows, but they're always going to come up to me just like, oh, that was brilliant, blah, blah. But you're really going to know what they think when they're in the toilet and they're talking to someone who doesn't yeah. know you, or, you know, didn't go see it and stuff. But, yeah. Well, this way, if they made it to the end of the show, it must have meant you're a good one. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a good thing, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, um, ah, look, it, it just means, like, I always try to be better than I was the last show. But, um... Like I was only saying to your manager the other day that uh, if someone texts me and says, oh, you are absolutely brilliant. Like sometimes people do go away and they message you on Instagram, like, oh, you are brilliant in Vicar Street last night or whatever. And I'm like, well, why didn't the other 900 people text me and say that they had a, <laughs> they had a good time? I must have been shit. I must have been shit. <laughs> so You're like refreshing your messages. Like, yeah. Maybe you <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's, oh, it's a mind fuck. Like. Yeah, because you're always like second guessing yourself in a sense as well. Yeah. oh yeah your biggest critic like totally are um and I know like some like there's nothing someone could say to me that hasn't crossed my mind myself that I haven't said to myself you know but like obviously you do have to have some belief in yourself because you wouldn't be putting yourself out there because okay. you know there is an element of me that like oh no you are going to entertain people because otherwise I wouldn't put myself out there and then I'd probably yeah. be still walking in extra vision you know so <laughs> what are extra vision what yeah, that's the. Do you know what? Like, I was in college and I was working there for for four years. Like, when I was in college, and then it closed down, and then I ended up getting a couple of internships. And I think I was doing an office internship in marketing. Yeah, and that was the last thing I done then before I went out and just. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, took the comedy by the horns. Yeah, then. yeah like it's. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's it's mad. Even even me fellas always slag me. What job? All you do is sit in your hole, and I'm like, I oh, hear more money <laughs> you sitting on me hole. <laughs> oh, stuff. Stop. But it's uh, no, it's uh, like I've totally like I know this is probably gonna come up later on the podcast, but I've totally noticed how much busier I'm getting. Obviously, COVID like took a massive like my career took a massive hit because of COVID, and I thought to myself, and that's the thing with being self employed as well. Because you yeah, actually only realise yourself, where am I going to make an income? Or, like, I can't perform anywhere. I can't do any shows. I can't walk anywhere in general because everywhere would be shutting down. Yeah. It was it was a concern in time. Because like, I don't know whether, did they have the COVID payment in Canada? 
they did didn't they I think so yeah but I don't think we were we were lucky like we got to work from home for a bit but Mm. I don't know if we would have been able to get it because we were our visas yeah we were just here like on two-year kind of working working visas visas. so I don't know if we would get it but (laughs) if I like get the fuck out yeah I Otherwise, I definitely would have been packing the bags and gone home. Yeah, yeah. Like that, that was the great thing about Ireland because I was just like, where am I going to make an income? Like, how am I going to support myself? And then obviously they, they came along with the COVID payment, which was great. And it was such a good crutch. And um, because up until that point, I was obviously dependent on income from shows and, you know, working yeah. with brands online. But I have noticed recently that it's getting to the stage now where there's not enough hours in the day, if you know what I mean. I'm like, I actually have loads to do. I have to reply to this email. I have to work with this brand. I have to make videos for this. I have to promote this show. I you know I'm on the radio now on the weekends as well like I'm really really busy and for the first time I'd say since I went there on my own I'm noticing now that like right it's really starting to pick up and yeah. obviously like, I'm making more money as well when it's picking up but um which is great as well like but it's yeah. I'd always remember the times where I was sitting on my haul and like <laughs> there was no work yeah, coming yeah. in yeah yeah you do like I remember actually sitting with me my other half we were up in the food court in Ify Valley and I was like, I have X amount in my bank account and Christmas is only around the corner. There's no brand work coming in. I have no shows. And you do start to panic. You do start to get worried. So it is a fickle business being like, I can only forecast so long, if you know what I mean, to think yeah. like, I don't know where I'm going to be this time next year, what type of work I'm going to have. Like, so it is, it's a risky business. Like, so you constantly have to be putting out content and staying relevant. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. Because it's, it's a COVID felt never ending as well. So when you're mm-hmm. in that and it's like, okay we thought this was going to be like a little quick six week little holiday from work yeah. kind of not having to go in and then it was like what like the guts of three years almost like I mean this time last year I know here still had restrictions like here yeah. like, well you forget about that because then once you got to summer it was kind of gone it's like right we're forgetting about the last three years they didn't happen it's hard it's it, I even lost track of like you know what what year it was etc and stuff but like I'll I'll never forget like that that whole and, and you know what there was some positives to COVID as well because I found I was doing a lot of live shows and I was taking my eye off the ball with me page and I wasn't putting up that much content yeah. so what happened then when lockdown hit all I was doing was sitting at home so I actually started putting out more videos and I still have people coming up to me now well just kind of after COVID ended being like oh yeah, videos kept me going during lockdown. So it was like, that was kind of one of the pros of, uh, of, yeah, of lockdown. Yeah, like, so many people going, though, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, Fucking do. <laughs> you can go on and have a laugh as well. Like, I was only watching your video earlier, the one you put up of, um, sorry, it was the most relatable video I think I've ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> it was the one where the fella's gone out and you're like yeah hoover being like i'm so glad i didn't go out last night like yeah, I'm up. i literally sent it to aaron straight away i was like that's fucking me on the daily with him <laughs> the daily, i was delighted i was like thank god someone's had the phone into a fucking video now i'll just send it to him every weekend like, that's <laughs> in a video like so, even like even when i walk some friday nights like his his friday night his his pub night is a friday night with his friends you know and like he, I will always be like, so what are we doing on Saturday? And he's like, oh, we'll we'll go on a hill walk up to Briars. Like, yeah, because I'm walking Saturday night, so I can't do anything with you Saturday night. And he's like, all right. And I'll be texting like when he's out on a Friday night, and I'm just like, like I hope you aren't gonna be pissed, Gary, because like we have to go on that hike tomorrow. He's like, I'm not. I'll be grand. I'll be grand. And then we, he'll wake up the next morning, and I'll be looking at him, and I'll be like, you're hung over, aren't you? You're hung over. Like, look at me, fucking fresh now. Like, I was we're supposed to be going on a hill walk. <laughs> hike and boots on. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing he wants to be doing like yeah oh, so you have to hang them on that word though as well like oh i'm really like that i'm like you're not letting me down you're not yeah, letting me yeah. down it's all about balance you know what i mean you can have your phone with your mates but you have to have your phone with me too like. <laughs> <laughs> but they never learn and you that's the thing no. they don't learn like they'll do the exact same thing the next week oh i caught i'm not oh, drinking oh, next oh, week oh, i'm oh, off oh, it yeah what oh, the struggle you end up clean i was fresh yeah. i was talking about the yeah i think like, <laughs> <laughs> you want me to always get the fresh version of you when they when you go up here on a Friday night. I never get the fresh version of you. Oh, that's, so, that's true. Okay. Yeah. What's the uh, well, the second question I ask is what's the worst song ever? It oh. shouldn't have been made when it comes on, ears are lean. You want to turn it off. What's the worst song ever? Yeah. Um I don't know about war song, but I just think the music, the this day and age is shit. Like if you look at um, like the Spotify charts, like the top ten, they all sound a bleeding same. Like do you know what I mean? My, my, yeah, like I'm trying to, 
I'm trying to think of what was the war song and like I think that song uh Dance Monkey. Yeah, I fucking oh. hate that song. Yeah, oh, I can't stand that song. Because it was just yeah. everywhere for so long, and it's like I just I don't get it. It's just that it's just so repetitive when you hear that yeah. one line like in your it's, head. It, it reminds me of a kid song, like it just like I don't know. Song or something. Yeah. yeah, like I just I just didn't like it when it came out, and anytime. <laughs> Anytime I would hear me, I was like, oh, I love that song. <laughs> and I fucking hate it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, oh, no. no. I, I understand your hatred for that song. I don't like that song either. And like, I like Ed Sheeran, but like, he is overplayed to fuck on Irish radio stations. Like, and I think all his songs are starting to sound the same. So I'm not going to say I don't like his music, but there is certain songs where I'm just like, I'm sick of hearing that song. Like, yeah, they, they are overplayed. 100%. Mm. It's like that song came out about five years ago now. Why am I still hearing that on the radio? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like even his new songs, I think are kind of, they are similar in my, like the way I'm oh, hearing to other songs like that he has. Like, like not- I went to see him in Croke Park I did last summer and I just don't think his music has the type of energy that could like bring Croke Park alive. Like Coldplay, like I didn't see them in Croke Park. No, I know they were in Croke Park, but like... Yeah. He just hadn't got the energy like for Croke Park. Yeah, like it was yeah, all yeah. slow songs. Like it wasn't like you know Robbie Williams loads of rock music or whatever. Like it's it's yeah. just yeah. yeah. No, I think if you're going to do that like that, you need to actually have like a performance, like a budget for actual like performance. Like we went to see their Leo's Capaldi on Friday, Friday. Yeah, over here, like, and he was brilliant, but he wasn't playing. Like he was in a smaller venue. Yeah, and it was just mainly him, him on the stage. Like, boy, he was doing literally comedy in between each song. Like, yeah, like, like he had piss. people in knots laughing. Like, <laughs> that that. yeah, but it was just him. But he put on a good show because we, good. it wasn't a big, huge stadium that he's playing to. It was more like it, it was very, it was more intimate. Small. I would say, like, you know, that kind of yeah, way. like. I but just, I think, fucking heartbroken on Lewis Capaldi. Everyone's fucking blasting their ears out of it. Yeah. I know because all all that all that all his type of music is all about heartbreak and like yeah. I think like I think he was saying he was thinking about packing it in and all because he he gets so nervous and his Tourette's and stuff like that and yeah. I'm like well if the music career fails like you'll succeed at comedy like you know what I mean the chat yeah. does yeah. every TikTok video goes viral like that he does yeah, yeah. no he's gas he's so funny yeah that that definitely helped I think we're breaking up because yeah. he'd sing like two or three songs then he started talking but he just start he'd either take the piss out of someone in the crowd or he. would like take the piss out of himself like at one point he was like oh I've been playing the piano for this whole song he's like I don't know how to fucking play and he's standing he's like, in the middle I'm not of actually the... playing the yeah. piano and he's like someone played the piano and someone's like playing the piano in the background he's like, <laughs> he's like, in the middle of the <laughs> like it, was, it definitely helped yeah yeah no it was he was good he was good but yeah. you get what you mean with Ed Sheeran like with playing at like Pro Parker yeah. and like you need I think you need a bigger production to actually bring it to life yeah like like your guitar uh-huh. and your little ginger head's not gonna go like <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Because he was the only one on the stage and he just had that guitar. Like, and I'm just like, so oh, I like... go to YouTube yeah. and see it even closer. I yeah. <laughs> with me, like... like, he was getting lost, like, on the stage because it was just him, you know. If he had a big band around him, like, yeah, you know, would have been intent. Like, I'll never forget Coldplay were like the, probably the best people I've ever seen, the best band I've ever seen in concert. Like, and I went to see them twice. Um. Yeah, and like they were just unreal. Like, and even like Adele. Like, I don't. I don't think Adele will ever tour again. But she, even if she did Croke Park, I don't know whether she'd be able to pull it off. Like, even though she'd be able to fill it, I'd say. But yeah, oh, she'd fill it. But can you put on like a show? Yeah, like that's, that's not just us listening to your CD. Like, yeah, she has got a couple of like upbeat tunes, but like I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't just... know if she'd be suitable in a big venue. Like, I know mm. she's in Vegas at the moment where it's, like, smaller. I think she's, like, in Caesars Palace or something. But it's small. Yeah. It's not a stadium. Like, it's a theatre. Do you know that kind of way, I think? Yeah. I and you know what she's been doing, actually? Because, obviously, I'd say it costs a fortune to sit up at the front at her concerts. Do you see mm-hmm. what she's doing? She's doing, like, a... She picks out one of the tickets from the back row up at the back of the, the room. Oh, and, like, she gives you the opportunity to come up and sit up the front. Like, yeah. Yeah. Stop, I'm going to Vegas in October and she's playing and I'm trying to bribe Aaron to buy me a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like starting at like 3.50 I think it is for nosebleeds each like and I was like, she's worth it. I was like, do you want to listen to me sing Adele the whole week in your ear or do you actually want to go see her? He was like, I'll listen to you for 350 each. I'll listen to fucking you. 
like be yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, we could be up at the front. Like he's like, no, I'm alright. I think she only does it to one person because I saw a TikTok. Oh, fuck and Aaron, if, if he gets picked, he's staying up in the office. Yeah. I'm like, he doesn't want to be picked. Yeah, so I Hi. She was, like, yeah. she was like, oh no, I only have one. So are you leaving your friend? And your one was like, yeah. She <laughs> ran to the roof. Yeah, no. Drop it like <laughs> not. <laughs> up at the front of Adele I'd sell me fucking soul <laughs> I know and she loves interacting with uh, she loves interacting with the fans as well like when she's at the show like so yeah. I'd be starstruck I would like yeah she just there's very few people where I'd be like like Miley Cyrus now I would saw me arm off to go see her <laughs> I swear to god I'd yeah. be like she's just I just think she's made even the covers that she does like on, on YouTube and stuff like she just like our voice I remember years ago when she used to do like seven things I hate about you and stuff like that I was like yeah, really kind of song, I love that song yeah <laughs> the oldies yeah. she's she's absolutely unreal like and yeah if there's one song I love I know like it's played to death now on the radio over here but Flowers are as like oh, and then Nadine, Nadine oh, Kyle version Flyers but uh, yeah, I love <laughs> so liars. I can't, I can't sing it. Me and Crossy, who do the radio together, we can't sing it like the same way anymore. It's like, <laughs> Alabama on fires. Yeah. We're gonna be saying that now over here. You'll never be able to listen to it the same again now. Well, fires. I literally have to ruin the song. <laughs> Because you never see that clip of Nadine Kyle. She's on like a breakfast show and she's baking some. And uh, they were just like, um, do you like kind of baking stuff? She was like, I like baking, mixing things with lots of flyer. <laughs> Laura? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, stop. No, I have to look oh, that up now. No, maybe, oh. maybe I don't. Yeah, I don't no, have to hear no, it. Either, right? The ruin and well, the song. Well, yeah, sorry. Time. Speaking of celebrities, who would you most like to switch lives with for like a day or a week in a celebrity? Um, like for money or lifestyle or what? Um, whatever oh. they make in the week, we'll let you keep. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want, yeah, but like kind of the life, see what their life's like, kind of like for, let's say a week. Um, like can it be a man or a woman? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. they could be dead or alive as well. Dead oh. or alive. You, won't be you can switch li- I mean, maybe alive since you can't really switch lives without every reason. Well, like, <laughs> yeah, like if I could bring him. Yeah. This one's, yeah, so this would be a fella, right? But I'm just so interested in his life because I actually used to fancy the whole of him when I was a kid. And it's the reason that I started following football, Cristiano Ronaldo, right now. He's like a fucking plastic Ken doll now. Like, he's nowhere near as good as he was years ago. <laughs> That was the than what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look like I mean I used to have a shrine to this fella in my room, like posters <laughs> all over the room, like, and he was he used to be gorgeous back when he was in his early twenties, and now like he can tell he's after getting loads of work done, like he actually yeah. looks like a borderline woman now, like do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I don't know, he gives yeah. tacky vibes. Yeah, do you know what he gives like? Do you ever like go to Spain or like Tokyo or something like that? And the lads over there, like they literally yeah. just put their leg over anything. Like, they, like uh, that's yeah, reminds yeah. you of like um the way he dresses and stuff. Like, yeah. it's like he's wearing fake Gucci or like fake Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Like, like I'm really not trying to sell this whole. I'd love to switch lives with him. Am I? <laughs> 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 yeah. I I would actually. I'd love to have his lifestyle because so much money that he has, he like, he's pro- every goal he's ever like achieved or like wanted to achieve, like he smashed it. Do you know what I mean? Like, so, like, I think he's probably like, probably one of the most famous p- people in the world, like, you know, and yeah. I would love to, like, I obviously like fancy the whole often, but like, just like how much more I'd say that the fat chap's a billionaire, like, and yeah. he just has boats here like imagine having a yacht out your back garden like you know what I mean it's just yeah for the money I'd probably love to switch lifestyles with him um but I just feel like all celebrities have very chaotic lifestyles don't they it's just like yeah, oh. yeah they do they do in fairness like yeah like I don't know if I can even think of a female like because some of them are very good at being private like I actually like um I love Jennifer Aniston from Friends but she's <laughs> yeah. too private for me to be like would I want our life because I don't know yeah. enough about it, you know? Yeah, like yeah, is she true. is she that interesting because we don't really know her? Like is she just living our daily life? Yeah, but you know what? In a way, I kind of like that because she's obviously worth a fortune, and then also she she is very private. And that's the way I'd want to be if I had that level of fame. Like no one really knows anything about her, you know? 
Yeah. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. yeah. Cristiano is, is a good one, though. Yeah, that was random. That was very yeah. random. Very I wasn't random. Wasn't at all. But um, the last one then, in one sentence, how would you sum up the internet? Oh, God. Well, you know, there's pros and cons. Obviously, it's responsible for my income. And I was able to put myself out there to, like, tons of people rather than just be friends and family in the living room. Um, so that, but, and then like the, the bad side of it is anyone has access to it. Like mm. go back 20, 30 years ago, you weren't aware of the amount of fucking sociopaths that are out there. Yeah. Like anyone has access to it. Like someone with, who is like, you know, a psychopath can just log on, troll you, do whatever they want. Whereas like years ago, you couldn't do that. Like if you, if you just didn't like someone, you just had to keep it to yourself. Whereas like anyone can just use a keyboard now. So it's, it's dangerous, but it's it's good in, in, in the same sense, you know? So yeah, yeah. that's how, how I describe it. But some people get an awful life online. Like an example is we were having, we have another like guest lined up and she's an Irish girl as well. Do you mm, know her mom? Yeah. And we had our tagged in some poet, I think it was International Women's Day or something. And we had our tagged in it. You want to see the messages we got yeah. just for tagging her. And the links they sent us to like full on hate pages about her. And all it's these true. supposedly bad things she's done. And I was like, that's, I literally just texted her like, that's disgusting. Like, I'm not even joking. I've never in my life. Now, am I surprised for who she is like? Oh, mm. after hearing she already got so much hate, I'll probably tell you like after I understand <laughs> who it is. If you're curious, but well, disgusted, like I was like, we haven't even talked to her yet, and that's the hate. Yeah, we haven't even had an episode right yet, and that's the hate she's getting just from us tagging, like just tagging our name. Someone actually went through it with like like multiple people to find two come. We yeah. multiple people tag like, yeah, like it was, I... it was targeted just at her, mm. and like I haven't seen nothing bad about her. But that's yeah, not like just like a random hate blog kind of thing. It wasn't yeah, like it was disgusting. Like yeah, no, it was weird. disgusting. It was like crazy. shocking. Like nitpicking. Like. Like, like madness madness it's sad, it's, it's sad like because I, I i know like those tattle pages and stuff like i've never searched my name on it i've not that i'm that interesting do you know what i mean i play it really low on my page don't put up much about myself try to be down the middle when it comes to politics and stuff yeah. but like i would never search myself but like i've seen other things about other people on it like you know i've seen screenshots of things on it, and i'm like people actually sit down with a cup of tea and think yeah. right I'm gonna watch the soaps now at about eight o'clock but I'm gonna log on to Tatler at half seven and I'm gonna absolutely <laughs> fucking degrade yeah. someone like how sad is that and you know what I've learned to like deal with like trolls like I don't get much troll and I don't um but I'm probably gonna invite you now after this but like, like, <laughs> like, like, like well, yeah, the Sheeran fans are after you yeah I know yeah but but you know what I've learned to like able to detach myself when I see something negative said about me I'm just like I would never be able to log on and just be like oh you know this podcast fucking shite like scarlifies like you would want to have something really yeah. like bad going on in your head for you to think that that's okay like you would want to be weird in a certain way to think that that's okay so I'm happy to say like that I'm someone who isn't a sociopath uh actually you know <laughs> things about other people's feelings before I type something yeah. And it's just, it really just says more about that person. I actually do feel sorry for them because I'm like, what type of life do you have that you think it's okay to say something like that? Like, do you know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah, what type of moral? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, like, I'd, I'd love to see people what people that have on their taglines be kind. If yeah. you click on that. the same. What? Yeah. Be kind. You're fucking giving someone death. Like, yeah. they, they, they're not, they can't be the full shilling. Like, they can't be oh, because. No. I've often like scrolled by people online and I'm just like, oh, she she fucking wrecks my head. Like, do you know what I mean? But I just think it and I just keep scrolling like for, to go out of your way and say it like you're being like malicious. Yeah. And like, it's just you're obviously not a very nice person. Like, and then do you know what? Sometimes you get as well when you reply and be just like, what the fuck? Like, or something like, OK, whatever. Yeah. Like, that's I, I don't really care. And they're like, oh, no, I'm only messing. I actually really do like your videos. They're trying to provoke a response from you. That's yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's exactly they want attention, right. like, and they think yeah. the only way I'm going to get attention is if I insult her. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. that's it. It'll stand out. Like, the message will stand out and she might respond. Like, Yeah. I just I couldn't totally. be hearing that much about someone I don't know. That's online that I'd have to go and be like, mm -hmm. write up a blog post or like start texting other accounts or even just comment on stuff. It's like, just unfollow them or block them. If yeah. you don't want to see their content, you don't like it. Like, but it's like they're they not hurting anyone. Like, what like, was the, the, but it's like they get a kick out of it. Yeah. Of just like 
being nasty. nasty like like I remember seeing a quote before and you're like you'll never get insulted by someone who's doing better than you like you won't like if, yeah. if so people are either intimidated by your confidence and you know what 90% of the 95% of the trolling I get are from middle-aged men or lads like and yeah. it's I definitely think it's a sexist thing like or like they just think yeah like women can't be yeah, funny or something we were only said any bad comments that has never been from a woman it's only yeah men middle-aged and you know what because they're intimidated by is our confidence and that's what it, on tiktok's the worst for like i don't really post stuff on tiktok because i just think it's getting worse on twitter now and like you can just set up an anon- anonymous account with instagram now they are getting a bit better at like you can block someone and any other account yeah. that they create sure. uh, oh, that's like, yeah but like it's it is that's the one thing i don't like about the internet is that like anyone has access to it and like you like i said you don't realize the amount of fucking head cases that are out there until the the internet actually came about yeah yeah so yeah. i know it's crazy they're all in groups together yeah <laughs> but it oh, flies to shame yeah but well, it has its ups and downs really that's it yeah no look like it has plenty of positives as well like and it brings people closer together like you know imagine you was living over in canada now like would would um, the amount of people who do live abroad would have would they have done that now if there was no internet like imagine i remember like people who used to live in australia and you'd have to ring them on a house phone it cost you a fucking arm and a leg and you'd have to communicate by postcards like i remember a girl a woman who used to live three doors up from your ma used to go to spain and send her a postcard and she'd be home and all on the postcard <laughs> <laughs> sure, i'm still waiting on my christmas card from your fucking ma oh god well that's kind of a post for <laughs> yeah, like. but like do you remember actually when you used to go to spain and if you wanted to ring home you'd have to buy this little card and it'd have like 60 minutes on it or something yeah. and it, you'd have to do it for, yeah. like, for like two minutes a night or something and like, dial up yeah. internet and everything do you remember dial up internet Oh <laughs> yeah, no, I do remember that. Like I remember back in 2005, I think back in the Bebo and MSN days, like yeah. But when oh. I still hear that noise in my head, you know when it was dialing up. Oh he god, so oh, so. Fuck up, I need to use that. Yeah. Used like, to take I'm fucking three walking stuff. days to download a song, like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you know what? Even my sister used to download them offline more and all, but they used to be like, you no, know, like an ad or something set at the front of the song. I know every time I hear certain songs, I'm waiting for the ad. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way I it, like yeah. oh my god remember LimeWire Jesus stop me guys we got mad with all the viruses like that's the thing now as well like even with Spotify like how you can just go on Spotify 7 euro or 8 euro a month or whatever and just listen to whatever song you like yeah. whereas like back in 2005-2006 we had to sit at a computer for 3 hours and wait for one song to download yeah like it's yeah. mental or you'd be recording your ringtone off the radio oh <laughs> god yeah and like the record quality will be shit. Yeah, oh, it'd be, be terrible. Terrible. All, like, Using it as your voicemail. On the song. We ringtone. We voicemail as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. And then you'd go out with your friends and they'd all be recording it off your phone. Are you and you'd get a new song off their phone? That yeah, no, that's shocking. Jesus Christ. Oh my yeah. god, I feel so old. Believe <laughs> me. Before we got cut off. But yeah. um Surprised we're... she even came back in. I'm like, she's off the leg. <laughs> she's <laughs> like, I'm done now. It's time to see. Oh, God. <laughs> no. So it's a kind of, uh, just a bit like more about you than random questions. But uh, so you started posting videos on Facebook, was it? About 2014? Yeah, so I was posting on my personal page, yeah. And then I made the Gizalaf page December 2014. Jesus. And yeah, like I... <gasps> Yeah, I know. Like it's it's after flying by. Like now, I've obviously evolved. Like you know, mm-hmm. mountains from when I started. Like, uh, and it's it's funny when I look back at the videos because even my voice, I sound younger even with my voice and stuff like that. Like it'd be like next December twenty twenty four be ten years. Like that's crazy. Mental. Yeah, and to like I never would have thought I'd be where I am now. You know, back then, like I just called the kids a laugh because I was like, oh, I'll just make a few sketches and stuff. But yeah, like it took a couple of years, a, f- a few years, probably I'd say, you know, about four or five years for me to actually actually start making money off it. Uh, and like people used to always be like, oh, would you ever do stand up? And I'd be like, absolutely not, not a chance and stuff. Really? Like, I, yeah, because I used to like the idea of just being able to hide behind a camera, like just sitting yeah, in the room, yeah. and no one to judge you. But you know, putting yourself on out on the internet, like it's scary as well. Like I remember when I posted my first video. I just shut the laptop down straight away. Like, I was like, oh, God, people are going to, like, slag me. It's going to be awful. Like, thinking the worst. And then, yeah, 
it was it was it was a shant of video and it was i was basically like taking the piss out girls who like you know think that fella like is god and yeah the big bag gone and like they're just always on facebook oh we fella done this and he done that and like everyone knows in the estate what he's yeah. like and what he does yeah. uh and everyone like like you said relatable everyone knows someone like that so i think most of my videos are built around who who can tag their friend in this or who can tag their man yeah. this? Do you know what I mean? Like that's that's it's where on the ideas. Do you know yeah. what I mean? In yeah, they're so relatable and they're so Irish as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. totally. Yeah. Like I I couldn't make a video about something that people couldn't relate to because I know it just do shit. I'd be like, there's no yeah. point making yeah. a video about a private joke between me and me fella or me and me friend because people were like, what is this? You know, you have to. You have to make it about something that you know is universal, that you know everybody goes through. So, like relationships, holidays, um, you know, friend groups and stuff like. So, and yeah, and that to be gas. Yeah, like I do always. They always do the best ones. Like even the one the I only put up there when I got back from Florida. It was things you say, things you say on a night out after forty, or like what nights out are like after forty, and like that went like super viral. Like that did really well because everyone who's over the age of 40 feels like that and and I'm like I don't think I'm the only one who feels like that so that's why I made a video and like clearly I'm not like you know so it's just it's really nice as well do you know what I mean yeah and this it's like people are growing with you because people yeah. that were watching you like nearly 10 years ago I know 10 yeah. years ago do you know what I mean who have followed you kind of and watched you that's even that's even bizarre like to, to think about that I'm making videos now about like what it feels like to be 40 and I started making videos in the early 20s. Like, I think it was 23 or something like that, 24, when I started making them. And, like, it's crazy to think now, like, that. Like, I'd say a lot of the people who followed me back then were the same age as me, and they're getting older now. Or, like, yeah, mm. it's 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 crazy to think. Like, and I do always think to myself, Jesus, imagine I had kids. Like, I would have a gold mine, like, to make me look <laughs> like, because everyone can relate to fucking shit about kids. Yeah, you know? definitely. Yeah, yeah, you'd be on lead mom talk and everything. Oh, I'd, I'd imagine like just having kids to exploit them like just be like you are just yeah. popping those now <laughs> yeah. I've just had yous for money like yeah it's grand like, yeah like even even remember I used to do the videos with Rory stories like he yeah he done a show over here actually I think a few years ago I think I was here he? yeah he done a show here and it like it was on all the Irish like Irish in Toronto pages like got get your tickets here he done a show here nearly a thousand percent show yeah. He probably did because I know he done one in New York as well. But like when we uh when we started making videos, we were doing them obviously about relationships and like they used like to do great. really well we're because great. everybody's in a relationship. Well, not everybody, but like you know everybody has been in a relationship or is in yeah. one. And like me and him were in long term relationships, and we were just like, "Oh, does this happen to you?" And yeah, and I'm just like, "Yeah." He's like, "Right, well then, let's make a video about it because everyone else must go through it as well," you know? Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you were kind of around the same time, weren't you? Yeah, I think he started a, a bit before me, but what started to happen was we were getting to associate with each other. So, like, we weren't our own people anymore. Like, we weren't our own brands. It's like, oh, it was either you're the girl who does the videos with Rory Stories or else, oh, you're the fella that does the videos with Giz a Laugh. But I think mostly it was you're the girl who does the videos with Rory Stories. And, like, yeah, yeah. So, you kind of need it to was do like that was kind of like your own brand as yeah. well. Like, yeah, yeah, I felt like I was losing that and I felt like if I put up any other videos about something else, they didn't do as well because it was like I was getting most of my followers from the couple videos and it was like, oh no, we don't like them. We just want to see the videos of you in a relationship. And like a lot of people used to think we were actually together. Like, Well, um, I remember when I, when I used to see the videos, I wasn't sure if you... Yeah, but it, 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 it is a mad setup though because it's not something that you would think you, you would see in Ireland. Like, yeah. and, like I remember thinking... Uh, because that's he approached me and he was like would you be up for making like videos and stuff and blah blah and I was like yeah I'll give it a go like but like a lot of people thought we were actually together and like it used to annoy me because like some people would obviously just probably think it and then other people would go out of way to like write in the comment section um you know months later like or years after we stopped making videos being like is she not the one who was writing Rory's stories <laughs> like things like that and I'm like what the fuck or like he put up a video why didn't I tell you this story? We went to his wedding. He actually invited me and me, me and Garrett to his wedding. And like, it was a great day. And the day two of the wedding, we didn't stay. We went home. This is how much people thought we were together. The day two of the wedding, right? They went to a function room like that was near the hotel. I think they got married in Trim Castle. Uh, They went to a day two, right? And you know the way they put up banners and all like that in the room? Congratulations, Rory and Enya. 
Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, stop. I wasn't there to see it now. I would have loved to witness it, but, like, I just, like... <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Like, did no one do a bit of research? Like, did like that's how much people thought we were actually in a relationship. Like, no, they actually no. thought that we and him were getting married. I hope his missus found the funny side of that. Yeah. I think she did. Like, she does have a sense of humor, <laughs> but like, like, oh yeah, that's that's what. And he had put up a couple of pictures with her on Facebook, and yeah. her name is Emma. And you get people commenting on it and being just like, I thought he was riding gives a laugh and all, and it's like real disrespectful stuff like that. You <laughs> know what I mean? It's like, oh god. And again, from men, like it's. Yeah. Just... Now, it was men who put their banners up as well. Yeah, it probably was. Yeah. Oh god. Like imagine, like I, I couldn't imagine into the room. This is why you didn't go the next day. Yeah. I would have wanted the ground to open up and swallow me. Like, you would have been going around and ripping them off the wall. No, stop. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so sorry. Like, I was like, well, well, there's an E in our name, so they got that part right. You know what I mean? But like... Just scribble out put M-M-A on the, on the end of it. Yeah, Jeez. but I, I actually, I felt, so, I, I didn't know what to say. Like, he thought, he thought it was hilarious. He told me about it. Like, you know, he told yeah. me about that day. Like... Jesus, well, you won't be invited to any any family functions in Rory Sorry's life now. Oh, stop. Like, he and he would see the funny <laughs> side of it, you know, like, he would have thought it was hilarious. But, uh, and we still stay in touch and stuff. But, like, yeah, I think we kind of just drifted apart because I think we were starting to become our own product. And, like, what yeah. would happen is when we were doing our own shows, people would be like, oh, expecting to see him with me on stage and stuff yeah. like that. It was just getting a bit, yeah, it was getting a bit weird. Like, yeah, yeah, getting to they get into associate with each other, like, and we were at the building up our own names and stuff like that. So you, you know, well, the videos done that purpose, like, he's both kind of got something out doing the videos together, but then I think you yeah. kind of have to separate at the same time, like. Yeah, but like that's a great relationship. Like, <laughs> really like, woo, <laughs> for anyone listening, you were never in a fucking relationship. But... But like it was just it was just acting, but again, it was the force of its kind, like to come out of this country, like to an Irish girl, an Irish fella to like not even be in a relationship and just make videos. Yeah. Like, it was a weird setup. Like I can understand why people would think that. Cause I would assume that if I seen like a fella and a girl like making videos like that together, but uh yeah, so I I, I can see where people were coming from. But now like it was just it was just innocent, like just videos like that. They were great though. All your videos are great, but they were like I remember them at the beginning. Because they kind of like, I think they kind of took people back as well, being like, oh, there's actually Irish couples, like, not Irish couples, but Irish people making these videos. Yeah. Usually yeah. English or like, whatever, mm-hmm. Americans like doing them, do you know what kind of way? Because we've done a couple of shows together. Um, We did do a couple of shows together where we just come up with sketches and stuff like that. And then I... I was kind of starting to notice it then. I was like, oh, like, I think we're starting to become like a product now rather than like being known as two separate people, yeah. you know, and yeah. like... I think we just kind of gradually drifted apart over time, but uh, like no, it was it was a great experience. Like and again, like a lot of people related to it. But um, like see, my fella is really really camera shy. He's not into that, and like his wife is re- is the exact same. So yeah. like he knew we we both knew there was an opportunity out there. No one else was doing it. Like let's give it a bash. Like the couple of videos, and yeah, they done well. Yeah, they done great. Look at you now. Like yeah, exactly. Yeah, so and then I know ruined his wedding exactly. Jesus, oh god, oh, yeah. so but were you ever worried when you first started because it was so early, like into the kind of internet and Facebook stuff? So were you ever worried about other people's opinions? I feel like in Ireland, it's very opinionated and very, like sometimes mm. closed mind when it comes to like what who she thinks she is, kind of that. We even talk about it on the podcast, like kind of would we have even started it back in Ireland because you have so many opinions kind of mm-hmm. chipping in. Yeah, no, like and at the start, like it was very you're really sensitive to all that because you're hearing it for the first time, like, oh you're shit and blah blah. Then you kind of start to think, oh, am I? But once you start like looking past all that being like, no, like there's actually people out there who do find me entertaining. Like now when I do, like I said, when I look back at my earlier videos, I'm like, I think people are laughing at me rather than with me. Like, you know what I mean? But I think I think I've switched that around now. But I think yeah. I think if you are a natural at people will naturally like follow you and they'll enjoy yeah. it, you know, because like, you can spot from a mile away if someone's only in it for the following because they're not good at what they do. Like, and yeah. yeah. You know, like there's people online who are like really, really good makeup artists and they've got following because like they're very good at taking the photos of the faces and like really artistic when it comes to that. And, you know, for any other profession as well, like and yeah. I I think about obviously if I hadn't have like 
look past it in the beginning like I don't think I would have continued but um yeah and you're always going to get people who don't like it and you do have to accept that and I do understand like that not everyone's going to like me like I don't like everyone online either like I don't like every comedian or, or whatever else but <laughs> like I said just keep scrolling like you don't have to go out your way to say it and I, I did learn eventually to like disassociate from it and just be like right and you don't take to heart what these people are saying because these are nobodies they've never met you I mean you look at their fucking profile picture and it's like <laughs> like 10 chins like balls and you yeah. know middle-aged like it's yeah. why are you letting someone like that get to you do you know what I mean your day or whatever yeah. like and starting to yeah myself yeah exactly it's, they're just intimidated by our confidence and yeah so I don't get me wrong like I'm not going to say it doesn't bother me like and I am very safe with the stuff that I put up online like I know like how to like literally not cross the line but like stay on it you know what I mean like yeah. I can like kind of go not overboard but no weird like the safe spaces to stop because there's other people out there who don't and like they get they, you're just not liked like people will just turn on you and that's all they remember about you like I haven't had any kind of like PR disasters where like I've been all over like online. She's this, she's that. Like I say, I do play a save and I I keep me private life. Like there's a lot of things people wouldn't even know about me, even though they've followed me for 10 years, you know, like there's. Yeah. You're better off though. Do you know what I mean? You don't need to know everything about you. you I mean, yeah, because you look at other people online who put up too much information about their relationships and stuff like that, or they make it part of who they are like their fella or their girlfriend and then when something's when there's trouble in paradise everyone wants to know and yeah. everyone's talking about it and everyone's making up rumors and I would hate that like I really yeah. would and it's more stuff to for people to nitpick at people that don't like you yeah you know I mean? so. and, they, and, and they judge you like like I'd hate if like Gara was out on a pub one night and like someone was sending me a photograph and like he could be talking to like one of his sister's friends and like someone was sending me, <laughs> sent me a photograph um <laughs> Yeah, like that's what you build <laughs> against. Do you know what I mean? Like it's so much. So so... Him if he is. They can do <laughs> she can have him. Like, yeah. I, mean? yeah, I don't have to do a big hangover head the next morning. No. Oh, yeah. You can go on your hill walk with him. But um, it's. it's... Exactly. Yeah, I. Uh, you will. I, I know I'm always going to get that. And I think it will start to get worse the bigger my profile gets like I, I did a video for St. Vincent de Paul it was a charity video I reached out to because they actually helped my family out a lot when I was younger and I said look I know you have Christmas. St. Vincent de Paul are great yeah they're brilliant and like I said I, I don't really see any kind of like um people content creators or people with platforms doing stuff for them I was like look I'd love to if you have a campaign coming up I'd love to do a video for you um, you know free of charge 100% I'd love to help you out give back and they were like oh that's great like we would love to do a campaign around Christmas about donating you know like food or heat so like people who hadn't got the money like they have to decide right do we spend the money on food this week or do we spend money on heat like it was really sad and they put it up on their Facebook page right now Instagram like me Instagram I guess zero like zero hey Facebook yeah. I know is is a bit different because that's where you got all the middle-aged people and middle yeah, yeah. in Ireland and people oh that's awful don't say that you know what I mean like but uh on the, the the same thing to the Paul video on Facebook, people just being like, "Oh, it's easy to say for someone who's loaded." And I was like, "Loaded?" I was like, "Fucking it loaded." Out of everything yeah. though, like you're doing, yeah. they are switching it. Like, like yeah, you, you, all you have to do is like anyone who's on the lately and the RTE share it. All you'll see is, um, now I've never been on it, but like when I look at other people who I know who've been on it, all you'll see in the comment section is, "Who is that?" Who is she? Never heard of her. Um. Oh God, I'd rather watch paint dry than watch her. Or like, oh my God. Um. I. I. If she was in my garden, I close the curtains. Like, there's so much hate in there this is, country. Like, they actually really they, they're so critical of mm-hmm. people. Very critical. Yeah. Like, and I think I was reading. Was it? It was like an article. I remember, and I think it was a. Uh, Keith Duffy and I think Brian McFadden. They went out and they were kind of doing their own boy's life or something. Yeah. And they were like, we're not even touring in Ireland because we just get fucking butchered, basically. We're only going to tour in England because they actually like us in England and people are actually buying our tickets. Yeah. We get so much criticism in Ireland. We're not even bothered. Like, yeah. And after hearing that, I was kind of like, do you know what? Ireland can be the most critical pick. I think, And I also think it's because people speak that fucking mind and they don't filter <laughs> as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just the Irish for you, like, 
But again, it's just fucking you just having access to the internet. And it's like, yeah, do you know yeah. what? It's, key it's like wild. Like as well. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like fun. wildfire because all you have to do is look on one of them videos. And if someone says something like that, like, who is she? Never heard of her. Like, it gets about 100 likes. And yeah. it's like, it's it's just oh, the mentality in this country. Like, and you know, there's plenty of people who are very supportive. But then it's just people who they actually get a kick out of like bringing someone else down. Like they're just oh, like, yeah. oh, you know what I mean? Like they see yeah. someone being successful and like achieving their dreams and like smashing goals and like they're popular with the public. And they're like, no, let's take her down a peg or two. Like it's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Well, yeah. We're going to get the charger. We're a great <laughs> podcast. Daniel, our battery's going dead in the laptop. I was like, Amy, <laughs> good enough battery. But I, I, I was here anyway. What does your ma think? Because your ma does a lot of the sketches with you. What does she think of everything? Like, does she love it? Or is she like, ah, and you fuck off, not today. Like, or does she love it? She bet into them with you. Oh, she loves it. She does. And she loves coming back from the shops. A girl recognised me. And like, you know, like, things <laughs> like that. And she's like, yo, Giza laughs, ma, aren't you? And she's like, you should start making your own videos. And I'm like, ma, I think you're starting to make this up now. Like, John. <laughs> She's having a fifteen minutes. Uh, she's having her fifteen minutes. Yeah. But I, I didn't lick her off a rock. Like she is gas. Like she's mad. Yeah. And like most of the stuff, I don't even get on camera. Like I'm just, I do be in fits laughing at some of the stuff she comes out with. Like and it's like I wish I had to record that. But it's <laughs> like she takes direction very well, and like she loves being on camera. And like it's because I know how much of a hard life she had. So it's it's great to see like that she she feels loved and like she's getting attention and stuff. Yeah. Like you know, it's really nice like that. Oh, she's great. But, um, so funny. Like I was saying this somewhere else. Like you know, where where she grew up, she grew up in Mali Farmer. But like when she when she grew up, like you couldn't like go for your goals or go for your dreams. You just literally had to walk and put bread on the table. Oh, yeah. Like that was it, you know. And I yeah. think looking back, if she if she was to be reborn again now, like she would make a great actress or a great entertainer. Like you know, but like yeah. it's. I know it's not too late to start, but like, look, she can, she can help me like along the way, like, and exactly. you'll be booking. Yeah. You are sorry, Mad. You have time to do this video with me. I know you have a very busy schedule yeah. now with your own career. She <laughs> have yeah. Yeah. She's, <laughs> she's actually she's on my payroll now. Like, I actually hired her like as an employee. Oh, I did. Gosh, that's great. That's amazing. Yeah. Because she, she helps you with me content and stuff like that, and I was like, ah, it'd be great to like. And um, give her a little wage and stuff, you know, like go out and treat <laughs> ourselves, like pocket money. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I was even saying to her. I was like, um, you know, she's just like, oh, and you're like, can we do it tomorrow or something? And I'm just like, uh, like we never spoke about sick leave. Like, what's that? <laughs> do you know what I mean? I was like, have you got doctors now? <laughs> yeah, you need that doctors now. You want to get yeah. the contract out? <laughs> yeah, and she is. She's a hypochondriac. Like, oh, there's always something wrong with her. Like, you know, like I could name five diseases that she's had this week. Like, she's just, <laughs> she's mad. But yeah, no, she she loves it. And like, she's so proud of me. And like, I always remember when I wanted to go for this and like, you know, make videos and leave like the office job, the nine to five. And they were just like, do it if you want. Like, um, they were never like kind of, you need to go to college. You need to do this. You need to do that. Like, I know I went to college anyway, but I was even kind of in that, I suppose mentality where oh you have to go to college, you have to get a nine to five like everyone else. Yeah. And I yeah. never liked the idea of working for anyone else. Like I I couldn't take direction from anyone. Like if someone told me put that box over there, I'd end up bringing it home with me. Like, do you know what I mean? Like that's <laughs> the reason I was. Um so I always did want to work for myself and I thought, how am I going to be able to work for myself? And it took me like I suppose up until about a year or so after school, probably about two years into the college where I started thinking oh when the internet came along like maybe like making videos or something because Darren Conway was doing it at the time I was like oh, I could do yeah I could do something like that but I didn't think I was I knew it would take a very long time for me to make money off it, but I was like where there's a will there's a way and like that's what I would say to anyone who you know is unhappy in their job or something like that and has like the luxury to be able to live and go pursue something that they love like find something that you love and just capitalize on it like how can I I, I absolutely love this and um, how can I make money from it and like make a living from it like that's what I would say and I'm just be delighted that I can do it and I can look after my man now and like yeah. something I never thought I'd be in a position to do like it's great yeah. if you're going to like put anyone on your payroll you want it to be family do you know what I mean exactly Oh, but don't get me like see two days before she's due to be paid. Now, Anya, that's definitely gonna go in on the force and all. I was like, yeah, it's gonna go in. It's all automated, man. Like, what do you think you're gonna do? You're gonna <laughs> money, like? 
Yeah. Like, you keep pissing me off. I'll block the payment now. Yeah. 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 Like, I'll definitely like, you didn't want to record. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine right. me ringing the fucking CEO of Dunn's doors. Now, my wage is definitely going to go in tomorrow, isn't it? <laughs> you sent that off, right? Yeah. So. Oh. But you've been in movies, correct? Yeah, deadly cuts. And do you want to do more movies in the future? Is that something like you'd like to, like, would you, technically, would you want to stay in the Irish movie scene? Or would you want to expand out? Like, if you were to do movies, like, what kind of way would you want to go about it? Um, Like, I remember, I remember actually originally the plan was to go into acting before I even went on Facebook around. Like, yeah, like, I always had an interest in that. I used to love doing drama workshops and stuff like that in, in school and like, you know, in summer camps and stuff. But uh, like people like te- I actually got very well. I got very well paid for that. Like and that was my first proper, you know, movie role. Like and I was approached through my Facebook page, through Gizzle really? Ash. Um, yeah. So I didn't even have to audition. Like, because yeah. it's like a show reel. Like they look at you and like, oh, she'd see yeah. one of the characters that I'm thinking of. Yeah. Like I remember she, Rachel Carey, who wrote the film and she contacted me. She's like, oh, we have a role. We think you'd be perfect for it. It was actually the lead role, would you believe? And I auditioned for it and I didn't end up getting it. But what they did was they called me back and they were like, we have another role that we think you'd be great for as well. If you want to audition for that. And I ended up getting that. Um, I think it was, I think it was Stacy was the name of me or Lindsay. I forget now, but. I like, sound like a weirdo, but I'm like, yeah, it was Lindsay. The person who played, I don't even know her name. And you were like, yeah, you played it Lindsay. Was Lindsay. <laughs> The other side of that camera now is just a big fucking poster of deadly cuts on your wall. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I did it for over six weeks. So I'd be in for like two days and then the following week I'd be in for like one day. Like it was all shot in pieces, you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, like they looked after you very well. It was like being on a proper movie set. Like you'd have craft service so like you'd be getting your breakfast handed in the morning while you're like, getting your hair and makeup done like, like it was like I think like the budget was like a million quid like and yeah. when I seen that like I get a lot of messages being like will you be in this movie will you be in that movie and they're all like kind of like independent movies are like you know yeah. budget movies and I'm just like I've so much on my plate like but when I seen uh this is the name of the movie this is the production company this is the budget I was like oh my god I'm going for that yeah. uh Why wouldn't you be mad not to but like acting like even though a lot of people aspire to be one like it's a lot of standing around like it really is like you're standing around waiting for the fixed lights you have to do the take about 12 times um like by the 10th time you're like i don't even feel in character anymore like this just feels yeah. like like drain oh, and yeah. now yeah yeah and especially if it's an emotional scene like if if you're sort of like really angry or like you know be really upset like if you're doing that in like five or six takes like it starts to become harder because you're like I can't keep making myself cry or yeah. it's taking up a lot of energy energy for me to be angry whereas like when you're just being funny it's even still yeah. like it can be hard like to say a joke to say a punchline for the sixth time it's hard to make it sound funny like you know but no it was a really enjoyable experience and there was talk about it being made into a series like but that was back at the premiere but like nothing's ever came of it but I would love to be to be asked back to do something like that you know, um, that'd be amazing. So, so stuff like that, like, is really enjoyable and funny. But like, it is that long days, like, they're they're really yeah. long days. Would you ever think it's a bit doing like something like even if it was a series like Kin, like something real serious? Yeah, I would like to do something like that because I don't. I want people to see like that. I'm not just a comic actor or like I'm not just a funny girl, you know. Like I can I can switch it on if I want. But again, you only get better at that with practice. So like. I'd love to do a couple of other things. Well, I'm I'm just kind of like being a bit of a shitter, but like rather than go <laughs> just going straight for it, like I'll have a bit more experience. But like if, if you do the audition and you think you're right for the parts, then you're right for the parts. Yeah, so yeah. like why not? But, game, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I've been I've been approached a number of times through my social medias for like acting jobs and I've auditioned for them, but like I don't have any acting agents, like and th- that's the good thing as well, because they take a big commission out of it and like Yeah, yeah. yeah it's you hear American actors say this all the time like that you get told no a lot like you think like these are overnight successes like um these like big A-list Hollywood actors but they had to go through a lot of rejection as well yeah that can be hard yeah Yeah. so there's more no's and yes and in stuff oh totally 100% yeah like there's and like there's even uh like I was even approached like would I write anything like a, sh- a TV show and like mm-hmm. you know I would like to do it but it would have to be the right 
the right time, the right concept. Yeah, I didn't. I wouldn't just write one for the sake of it. Just be like, oh, I wrote a TV show. Like I'd want it to be really yeah. fun, and I'd want it to like have the proper actors and like a good idea. Like you know, um, but who knows? Like maybe down the line. Yeah, yeah. I could definitely see that in like the future. That like something you'd fall into. I feel like with that, you have to want to do it yourself. It doesn't yeah. be like, oh, here we have some money, like make a show, because then it's, it's like forced. Yeah, stuff. where mm. actually you could start like one day something could happen. Like that's a great now, idea for a show. Fine. If the paycheck was big enough, I'll I'll right. yeah. <laughs> yeah, true, yeah, true. Yeah, like. But the thing is, when you're under pressure, like, you can't write. Like, it has to come to you naturally. Yeah. Like, 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 like a, lot of, a lot of my videos are like that. Like, I would go... But now, in saying that, like, if I sit down and really put my mind to it, like, I could think of something. But sometimes you don't want to just put up a video for the sake of, like, yeah. putting it up because oh, I haven't put up one in a day or two. Because um, then it can end up being shit. Like, I find TikTok uh, helps a lot with like my creativity being like oh they did a video about that I'm going to do an Irish version of it you know like yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And, and and it does very well or like it helps you think of other stuff being like oh yeah I actually do that and stuff like TikTok's great for like I know like it can be sometimes you get sucked into a hole and you're on it probably eating hours like hours. shall I mean? hours. hours yeah hours it's like, it's like a new <laughs> Google for people though in a sense like like yeah. how do I open it tin can we can open it just for example i don't know why that came to my head but that's just an example people were quicker going put that into tiktok now than they will google yeah yeah i remember hearing that before like it's it's actually starting to be on par now with google in terms of like search yeah. engines like so you're visually seeing like certain things on tiktok like you know if you google something it's like number one get your can number two get the can open <laughs> but on tiktok it's like physically showing you yeah and it's obviously showing yeah. youtube so that makes sense yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's, that's what I'm saying where you said short or like people's attention spans like I couldn't put up like a video that's over 90 seconds now like people just wouldn't watch oh, it no. like it's crazy it's it's, it's weird like but you, you have, have to, to like your attention for so long like you have to make a short and snappy like because yeah. otherwise you just get bored so quick like it's <laughs> it's mad like I, I remember I used to upload like four minute videos and all to Facebook back in the day and how they fucking done so well I'll never know like but they did yeah it's madness it's crazy but anyway what have you got coming up now you're doing live shows are you you have live shows coming up yeah so i'll be doing a couple of the comedy festivals during the summer in ireland and then i'm doing vicar street on the 22nd of september so there's still tickets available for that on Ticketmaster. and um, doing my stand-up show uh ask your math so it's all about like you know moving in with me fella obviously having friends who have kids now like stuff like that um, the new parts, like I, I'm evolving now in life as opposed to my old stand up show. Uh, and then I'm in Mullingar on the sixth of May. So if you're from Mullingar, um, I'm going to be doing the Mullingar Art Center. And um, yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll ho- hopefully get to get to Canada as well sometime soon. Oh, you're going to get Definitely. dragged over. Yeah, drag, skull well, dragged. Yeah, skull yeah, cool drag, dragged over. You have to, <laughs> you'll do like a show over here. Like we'll all come out of cracks in the fucking yeah. ground. All of us Irish. Everyone and just flocks to something that's Irish, Irish, is it? Oh, yeah, big time. Yeah, big time. Yeah, there's like so many Irish here, though, in general. Like, even like we have friends here that are English, but they're half Irish who lived in Ireland, but they have an English accent. Like, they know like everyone in Ireland as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's so it's a mix and pop, but uh, yeah. But thanks for coming on and talking to us two gobshites. <laughs> no, no, you enjoy it. Thank you, man. Well, we won't be getting fucking free tickets for Ed Sheeran anytime soon. No, fuck you. <laughs> I know, yeah. God love him. But uh, even if I did get free tickets, now I'm only joking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, you never know. Yeah. Please, um, well. No, no, yeah. No, really enjoyed it because usually like the majority of the podcast is how did you start, how this, but yeah, that was a really random conversation. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's just something different because like loads of interviews I think are so serious. Like when people turn on the news, it's fucking doom and gloom all the yeah. time like and we started this in the pandemic because everyone was stuck at home so we were like even with like immigrants like Irish immigrants over Canada like they're stuck indoors some of them are on their own living at home they can't yeah. go anywhere so even if they can hear like two of us shy on for half an hour or whatever during their day while they're stuck in their gaff like it breaks it like they don't feel as alone ah, yeah. yeah the whole point of it was like well like life's already serious enough like if you're yeah. going to fucking do something have a laugh when you're doing like you would even know yourself making videos like have a laugh while you're doing something like oh yeah god of everything else so yeah 
Oh, yeah, you'll never really see me be serious on because of the laugh page. <laughs> yeah. Well, it would be, it'd be a bit controversial, wouldn't it? Give us yeah, a laugh. Words. What the fine. fuck? What the fuck? People would probably yeah, still think it's a joke as well, though. That's the funny thing if you were fucking crying down your, your channel. like. Yeah, yeah and I would have to do a video now about ringing your mar up at your friend's sleepover because I oh, think yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be done. But anyway, yeah. thanks so much. And we'll leave all your details down below yeah. Um, on TikTok, Instagram, everything, uh, everything, Spotify, everything. We'll and be down below. Show as well. We'll yeah, it. we'll link everything for your shows as well down below. So if anyone who's listening and is in Ireland and Mullingar and wants to go see Anya, uh, give us a laugh go and check out and buy tickets because you can do them in the link below and if you're Canadian and you don't follow already I'm sure you do if you're Irish over here go follow yeah <laughs> yeah thanks a so, million girls we'll have to have you on again mm-hmm. yeah, yeah definitely the, the, the 100 episode or something yeah <laughs> yeah you'll, you'll have to get Rory stories now on for your 10 10 year anniversary now for your patch I, I should know, know Ronaldo <laughs> by then so we get him on <laughs> you never yeah. know yeah like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Happens. Not on bench, I'd not on games. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Go on, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, thanks so, again so going. much. It was great talking to you. What time is it over there? It's like quarter past one. Yeah. What time is it? Right. Well, good afternoon, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> good good afternoon. afternoon. You might catch yeah. you. Now, not to you if you're quick enough. You'll have your lunch, I'll have me dinner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, thanks again. It was great talking thanks, to you. Thanks, Anya. See you later. Yeah, See bye. You. bye.